Okay, this should be the last room of the 32nd floor, or at least close to it. Fuck. Oh god, there was a drill guy I didn't even notice. I didn't mean to grab that one. Nice, we stunned all of them. Nice. And this will kill him. There we go. The drill attack is very annoying, but it's also kind of a godsend because it, it like, it obviously leaves them way, way wide open to your actual attacks. So as soon as they actually bury into the ground, depending on how much health they have, they actually might have just sealed their fate because you can usually land like two heavy attacks on them, no problem. Oh shit. Oh fuck, darn it. I thought I would be able to actually get out of there in time. That's a shame. Okay, fuck you. Oh god. That fucking hit me, really? Okay. Nice, there we go. Yeah, obviously those guys pack a punch and their their range is insane, but obviously they <laughs> They, they, they're very slow, so you, you kind of, like, dodge in and around them. Oh, God. White Sheet Man. I wasn't actually expecting this. <laughs> Let's rock. Okay, Sheep Man, uh, yellow, I'm pr pretty sure it was. Oh, God. There we go. Nice. Okay, Psycho Chip will stun him. Oh, fuck. Okay, I was not expecting a Shockwave. That sucks. Okay, we're back down to one, unfortunately. Shit. Okay, things are not going well. Ty, do we put a cheat code? <laughs> no, I fucked it up. Please. There, we actually got it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this uh, this is one of the few times where the actual healing uh, cheat code is actually useful because it's in the white man room, white sheep man room, not white sheep man. Fuck, <laughs> yellow sheep man. I can't color well. Please die. Fuck. That fucking hit me. That's bullshit. Okay, I. I need to calm the hell down. Because I'm clearly not respecting what he's doing right now. Shit, man. There we go. That was a train wreck. I'm sorry. <laughs> Probably entering the cheat code is more hassle than it's worth. Just because, obviously, it kind of distracted me from actually learning the boss's attacks. Oh, well. Okay, but that's the 32nd floor finished. And that's the double Z chip. <laughs> Surprised they did. They went with super instead of ZZ. <laughs> ZZ would have been pretty good. Okay, back from the thirty-second floor. Let's pop in that new gearbox, uh, double Z, and uh, go to the semifinals. Let's nitro like a boss. Okay, this is where it, this is where it starts getting pretty freaking complicated, as you can see by the gearbox below. There we go. We got nitro. One thing that you need to keep in mind about nitro, by the way, is that if you get the nitro, it'll send you straight into second gear. So that might throw you off the first time. But yeah, as soon as you get to the final gear, pretty much just wait for your acceleration to max out. And as soon as it max out, that's when you can pop your nitro, and that's probably the most efficient place to actually use it. And yeah. Yeah! Oops. <laughs> Going to the VR machine instead of the phone. Oh, damn. Already. Okay. Uh, let's actually save our game really quick, because... We're actually towards the end of Golden Dragon GP. This one's really cool, but it's also, like, 
without a doubt the shortest. It is, uh, it is, it, it feels like it's almost like half the length of, uh, it's probably half the length of Coffee and Donuts, and Coffee and Donuts is a little bit longer than the other games, too, so it, it this one, this one's short, but it, it's good for what it is. Anyway, one last, uh, clean, <laughs> Travis, stop, stop dissing your own game. Okay, let's go to the 64th, the final floor. Uh, this one's big. Obviously. Okay, here we are on the 64th floor. This one's a doozy. Some more insta-kill enemies. Oh god, could you imagine if there are enemies that could insta-kill you? No. We are doing the insta-killing around here. Ice Blade! Nice. He actually got hit, unfortunately. Fuck these. Uh, projectile guys, I should probably deal with them first. There we go, nice. <laughs> he only took one more basic attack. He was right on the cusp of dying right there. Oh god, and our skull. Man, the, these skulls really like spitting out the the explosive guys. Shit. There we go. Screw you. And this is gonna be satisfying. What? I tried throwing and he just he just whiffed it. He was right in front of several enemies and he missed. That's annoying. Okay, normally the, these 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 skulls would be like the the skull in the middle would be churning out a ton of enemies and you also have these enemies shooting at you, but yeah, you could just take out the skull real easily with a charge attack and then you're you're pretty much good to go. Oh god. How did that hit everyone? What the hell? I might have underestimated the chain lightning. That was nuts. I cannot believe it just hit all of them in the circle. Best chip. Best chip. Oh my god. Okay, that's bad shit. Oh, back to one. Are you fucking kidding me? Whatever. This will get it back to two at least. Shit. He fucking jumped over that. Screw you, asshole. Oh, that the, the door actually opened before all the enemies were dead. That's interesting. Huh. Screw you. Oh, that was a X X XP guy. Nice. Oh, more. Nice. A lot of the time you can actually run and kill them before they actually fully spawn, before they even have a chance to get away, which is nice. Let's actually weave back in this way. And a ramen stand. Nice. You can get away from me. Nice. Can't believe that's both ramen stands for this area. Recovered, which is awesome. And we're back at full power. Okay, let's head back up this way instead. Let's see, uh... What's at the end of this path? We still have that second cheat code that we haven't found. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, there we go. I was hoping they'd spawn in just in time, and they actually did. Oh, fuck. It's one of these. Nice. They were really good at getting those. Okay, uh, let's actually level up, because I'm sure we have enough. Holy crap, we actually have enough to do it twice. Damn. Level 11, nice. Big attack power boost. Okay, nice. 
Oh, gold bug. Oh god, there's two. Okay, one of them's dead, thankfully. Screw you. Oh god, really? Oh, this is fucking brutal. Oh my god, you you don't have enough time to get away from that if you're not careful. Nice! Screw your combo attack. This is gonna blow your brains out. Okay, thankfully, here's that skill chip area we found, so if we input our code... Uh, any second now, Travis. There we go. We'll actually spawn another one of the EXP guys, kill him really quick, and we can grab a skill chip for our trouble. So let's check out what that one does. Oh, actually... There, there's a great example. We pretty much just leveled up, so you could probably get a good idea of how much XP those guys give. I'm pretty sure it's like 100, which isn't a lot, but it adds up when they throw a lot at you. Anyway, let's see what that new chip is. It is Bad Hop. Batman only skill. Shoot. Okay. Well, we can't use that one then. Oh, well. Damn, we're already at the end? Really? Holy crap, this level is way shorter than I remember. The V chip. V has come to. And it's in our hands. <laughs> New heights of awesome. Okay. Nice. <laughs> okay, one last race. G1 final. Okay, yeah, that gearbox is really complicated, by the way. You need to be flawless or else you will lose. And we got it! First try! Holy crap, nice. Uh, what the? <laughs> Beloved. It's kind of a shit heap, but <laughs> I guess home is home. <laughs> I don't know. I I like it. I like it. Okay, and that's the final. That one is really hard, by the way. I'm not joking. Like, like, good luck on your first playthrough, because it's brutal. It demands perfection. Damn, already at the champ. Time for a boss fight. Alright, sure. Let's follow his advice. Let's head to the toilet save. And we'll take on our next fight. Last time you're going to be hearing this comfy song, unfortunately. Oh, well. To the top floor, and our next fight, Smoking King. Oh, wow, it really is the top floor. Oh, 
Bring it on. Okay, boss fight. Smoking King. This one is actually hard, not gonna lie. You need to be very, very careful because Smoking King has uh, some of the widest range out of all, all, all the boss fights in the game. He is actually brutal. This guy... Oh, shit. I just realized. We absolutely need to switch to our healing chip. What am I doing? Uh, where, where's the healing chip? We're gonna freaking need it for this fight. Trust me. Okay, watch out. There we go. There's the, uh, there's the seismic attack of his that, uh, again, has crazy range and it will absolutely murder you. Also, Smoking King is ho uh, home to three health bars. Uh, much like Doppelganger, uh, this guy puts up way more of a fight than Doppelganger does. Not that Doppelganger can't be hard, it's just Smoking King is brutal. You really, again, you really do need to respect his attacks. Or you could just chain all of your skills into him at once and murder him. Okay, there we go. Oh, fuck. One thing I want to point out about Smoking King's theme, uh, this this music is, is really awesome. One, one super awesome thing about it is the fact that uh, you would never ever hear this in a normal playthrough which is which is a real shame but seven freaking minutes into this song there is no way this boss fight would take you seven minutes but seven minutes in there's a three minute saxophone solo i'm not even joking and it's incredible it's it's very annoying that like it's practically buried and you'll never actually hear it in, under normal circumstances so just look at him on youtube because it's real good Okay, this is where uh, this is where he starts getting a little more complicated. Thankfully, we have a charge, so let's use it right away. There we go. Okay, shining chip into the wall. Okay, fuck. Okay, zappy zappy. We have psycho, which will completely stun him. Oh shit. There we go. Oh fuck! Watch out. No way. Yes! Holy crap! We murdered him. That was really hard on my first playthrough, I'm not gonna lie. Same with Brian Buster, but we actually did super good. It was down to the wire, like, I had to use my healing chip, and even then, by the end of the fight, I was really dead. He was just murdering me with those shockwave attacks. We did so good on that, though. By the way, if you think you're hot shit because you keep getting S ranks... I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but there is a rank higher than S, it's SS. So I'm pretty sure to get SS, you probably need uh, you probably need to be in level 3 for the whole fight, and you probably need to take little to no damage. Uh, I think probably the big one is continuous level 3 charge time, which we, we were never at level 3 at any point in the fight. So, yeah. Still, holy crap, we, we murdered him. One minute and 47 seconds. Saxophone solo at the seven minute mark. Screw you, Suda. <laughs> I'd, I'd legit pay for a sequel to that. Travis is kind of advertising Electro Thunder Tiger 2. Electric Thunder Tiger 3, I mean. I keep getting the name of that wrong, I'm sorry. Honestly, I would pay for a full-blown, like... Golden Dragon G GP sequel, like with more races, more cars, like more customization, that'd be really cool. Because the actual, like, the base of what's there is real cool. I really like it. I wonder if there's any other, like, drag race games kind of like it. I'm not totally sure. <laughs> you that, that was going hard on me? I kicked your ass, son.
Speedy Speed Boy. Hey, Fasalis chip required. Acquired. Nice. And that actually is it for the game. Holy crap. That one went by super quick.